We are excited about our time together and we are going to be going and facing the world in just a few moments. So stay tuned as we go live to the world in just a moment. And as it is preparing, we are hoping that you guys are having a wonderful time with family and friends and things of that nature. We are excited that everybody is safe and that they are in their homes and trying to cope and be all that they need to be at this wonderful time. Uh, what we have learned is that as we continue to go forward, um, we get a chance to, to we get a chance to just be better. And I just want us to be able to share some things with you that we have learned and we'll go from there. What you're getting ready to see as you are waiting and preparing for it is going to be some wonderful women from across the country who had made a decision some 50 days ago and others um, beyond 50 days. They had started around about uh, 100 days. So some people have been, um, you know, able to be with us for 150 days. And it looks like we are on Facebook Live and we are excited that we are here. Uh, people are still coming and joining us. We had approximately around about 273 that were a part of our 50 day challenge. Uh, Walk It Off Girl is a behavioral mindset program overall that helps people to get rid of the weight of the world. My name is Dr. Lakita and I'm the founder and participant of this uh, what I call a wonderful opportunity to re-engage with our own lives, uh, with God, and to really make sure that we put excuses away so we can be our absolute best self. So as we go forward tonight, just for a few moments, we are hoping that we stimulate you women all over the world because I was like you, I'm 5'4", and I was 196 pounds. And I don't care what you say, it looks a certain kind of way to be that little and to be that big all at the same time. So we were grateful that we decided to really get it in our heads. And I hadn't always been that big, but stress and weight of the world and um, bad decisions and all kinds of stuff uh, got in the way. And um, I got in my own way. And then I made a decision. I was going to get rid of the weight of the world and that it did. And 50 pounds later, we are here. So we are excited to be here. We are happy and we are just a walk it off girl community that believes in health and wellness and fitness from the inside out. So to get us started and to get us mobilized for tonight, I think it's always important that we hear people's stories in their own words. Um, these ladies have just been phenomenal. Like I'm inspired by their dedication. And some of the ladies that you're going to hear from had really major issues, Diabe diabetic. Um, they just had a lot of different stuff going on and they ended up being well. They ended up being well. And so what we're going to hear from the very first person on our list is Miss Brenda Moppins. And for those that are just waiting, if you can mute your buttons and tell us your time to speak, that would be awesome. Uh, so that our folks in Facebook land can get a chance to hear us, that would be great. Our first person is gonna be Miss Brenda Moppins. And just one, and as we are, and then let's get our Miss Brenda going on here as well. And there we go. It's always a wonderful joy as we are. Oh, that's what we need her to do. Okay, awesome. So we need Brenda Moppins.
Okay. Miss Brenda, can you unmute your button? It's unmuted. Awesome. And are you on video or off? Can you? I think I'm. There we go. Perfect. Can you see me? Yes. Yes, we can see you. Um, We can see you. Now we just need to. I can't see you anymore. Where did you go? Okay. Um, these are the wonderful. Oh, there she is. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So thank you guys in Facebook land. And I see you guys are chiming on, which is super duper awesome. So here we go. This is the fun part for me. Um, so I want to just first encourage every visionary and every leader out there that is doing anything to try to impact the lives of other people. Um, you're not going to see the results immediately. What you see now is 11 and a half years. There was nothing going on for 11 and a half years. And I yet still held on to the entirety of what God gave me about helping people, women particularly, get rid of the weight of the world. And we are here. So I want to introduce to us Miss Brenda Moppins. Brenda, will you please tell everyone where you are from? Hi, my name is Brenda Moppins, and I'm all the way from Stockton, California. <laughs> Woo -woo. That's it. That she's in the house. Absolutely. Stockton's in the house. Yes. So she's in from Stockton. So tell us some, a fun fact about you, Brenda, that we may not know about you. What's a fun fact? A fun fact for me is that I am an avid bowler and I actually am a, a city champion and a state champion. Oh, <laughs> and third of the nation in my age range. So that's a fun come, fact come for me. on, third of the nation. Okay, <laughs> that's a fun fact we wouldn't have known. And I think what's always a fun fact is how old you are. I said, I this you have got to tell the world because you are just how old are you? Well, I will tell the world that as a um, January third, I will be sixty-one years young. <laughs> <laughs> That, listen, you don't look 31, honey. I want your jeans. I want God your... is good, isn't he? Absolutely. Uh, you know, and so this was, uh, I'm just excited. So excited. So let's get down to the meat of it. Now we, yeah. we have some fun questions. Now let's get down to the meat of it. Yeah. So um, when you started this journey of just wanting to change your life and all that kind of stuff, you know, what was the deciding factor for you? I, you know, uh, the 100 day, the 50, what was the de deciding factor for you? That's a great question. Well, let me tell you, the deciding factor was when my girlfriend asked me to join, I thought it was a weight loss program. And I'm like, oh, I have 10 pounds to lose. So that's, that was my deciding factor that I was joining the WIOG, walking it off girl to lose 10 pounds. Okay. <laughs> and what did you find out that you got? <laughs> The truth, really is, the truth is I lost 13 pounds, but the reality is I gained so much more. I gained such a sense of, um, because it, it's so uh, spiritual and personal, this organization, it's beautiful, it's powerful. Dr. Lakita, you are my friend, my sister, my little sister, you are everything. You. And what I found is that the increased, increased wisdom, I've learned to embrace. My favorite thing is I learned to embrace the power of yes and no. That mm. was critical for me, especially in the stage that I'm at. I'm 60 years old, almost 61, ready to retire. So that's what I gained. So the weight loss uh, was great, but I gained so much more. WIOG um, changed my life. It was a, not only a life changer, it is a game changer. So let me ask you, so someone looking out, you know, you're moving into retirement and I, and I know that you, there will be some videos and stuff out there where you have actually done to our retirees. I'm going to try to see if I can't get, uh, you might have to redo that one. Uh, to, I'm going to try to see if we can't get it at the AARP level. <laughs> so so uh, I'm kind of, I want to pitch it where you can do your PSA for AARP, you know, but so, so what would you say to the woman that is about to retire? Why would coming into this community be of a good asset for her? Because you are a woman that is now in retiree land. This is it. This is your last month and you're out, you know? So yeah. what, 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 what's a good reason why someone retired should think about this prospect? 
Well, I, you know, a couple of reasons. One is being able to um, learn how to uh, overcome insecurities, overcome, mm -hmm. be more confident in your decisions. Mm -hmm. And when you are confident in your decisions, it makes it a lot easier to, to make that transition into retirement. And mm -hmm. so that comes from the power of yes and no, because if you're always looking at the what is, well, what if this will happen? What if that will happen? Well, then you will never retire because mm -hmm. there, there is no ifs. What it is is risk. And the WIOG helps you to elevate that level of, in that process of thinking that all things are possible. Mm. All things are possible. So let's not focus on the things that are the what ifs. Let's focus on what is the possibility of retirement so that you can live your best life. Oh, I love it. And you know, it's funny, you mentioned the power of yes and no, and that was one of our classes. So it was yes. part of the Walk It Off Girl, you have classes that you go to. Yes. Like, oh, class. Yes. That's right. You're right. Well, that LDL class is powerful. Yes. So I'm excited that you have shared with us. Everybody keep your eyes and ears out for uh, Miss Brenda Moppin. She actually is also uh, y, uh, WIOG's events coordinator and super excited. She has coordinated um, a, a superb uh, team and the stuff that they have for you guys for now until like it, it just takes me right out the block and I don't have to do anything. I mean, they're going to be celebrating your birthdays and all kinds of stuff that I feel excited that they want to help to create a community that is real, that is raw, but that is absolutely relatable. So kudos to you. Congratulations Thank for doing you. your 500,000 plus steps. And we'll see you at the top. All right. Thank you. Woo! Yes. The Don't next person. Yes. That we're going to have is um, Miss Miller. We are going to have Miss Miller come and um, let's get her on here. I'm excited about her. I know her sister and came to know her through this particular challenge. Um, she has a wonderful sister and I love her. And they look like twins to me. And uh, yes, and she's just beautiful and, and all of that. And when we did our our special walk around Lake Merritt. She just was in her own little world and I just love that spirit. So unmute yourself and then let's tell the world who you are. So Hi. tell us who you are, what's your name and where you're from? Hi, my name is Cleanna and I'm from originally Berkeley, California, but when my father went moved to Richmond and bought a house and we ended up in Richmond. So I currently been residing in Richmond. The past in 30 years. That's 30 years. Okay, so Oakland, Richmond, that's, what, that's so awesome. That, so tell us a little bit about what, what was your why? You know, you're beautiful. What's your why? Um, my why, when I first seen it, I'm not sure who invited me, but I seen it and I wanted to join it. And I shared it with so many other people. And I, when it was a challenge, first I thought it was like a weight loss challenge, but it was a walk challenge. And I really enjoyed it, even though it's a weight, you, losing weight is a journey. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes in that journey, you get discouraged. Sometimes you go backwards and sometimes you go forwards and you go back and forth. But um, I really um, admire you and oh. I like how the realness of you oh. and you tell the truth and it's true. Like you shouldn't have all this weight seriously, mm -hmm. especially if you want to work for the kingdom. I mean, weight of the world. Yes. physical, mentally, yes. emotional, you tell yes. the truth. And I admire you, you know, for that. And I also, in um, I get encouragement for the other sisters yes. that's in the group, yes. their comments, when they pose, I may not like each and every one of them, but I see them, <laughs> but I, I get encouragement from that. And I'm thankful, you know, that you have this in the Bay Area because in the Bay Area, you really don't find, you know, a lot. I see a lot on the East Coast. I see a yes. lot in the mid Midwest, but on the West Coast, you really yes. don't see that and I appreciate you and I thank God for you and I thank God that you obey God in what you're doing and you know to God be the glory you know to yes. God be the glory and yes I, I really appreciate you and I love you and so tell and them I lost, you I'm gonna tell you the first challenge 
um i didn't really like lose but after it stopped i gained some but this second challenge on the 50 no no yeah the 50 day i lost like 14 pounds Woo-hoo! i can't say that i lost 14 pounds and um sometime me and mother Kathleen, mother Kathleen will go i love her you know walk and she'll call like we want to go walking so we'll go walking in emeryville or along the water i like walking along the water i like nature yeah. So 14, so, so tell me what if you had to tell the people if there was anything, what was the most difficult part for you? If there was anything that was difficult. Um first you have to clean your diet. It's it's, yes. it's not your diet. Yes. And I I'm delivered. I love cake. <laughs> Good cake, not just any kind of cake. I'm a sugar she fanatic. I'll delivered. let you know. I'll let you know if your cake is good, if your sweets is good. I love sugar, but I did cut back a whole lot. Cause there was a time if I went to a party, whatever, I'm gonna ask like I'll volunteer to cut the cake. I'm gonna make sure everybody gets some <laughs> plus me and take some home. But <laughs> I went to um a party not too long ago, and I'm gonna say that. I had some of that cake, but it was another party I went to. I didn't even eat no cake. Like, really, I didn't. And I know that, like, sugar is not really good for the body. And everything in moderation, but just have to watch your diet, what you eat. You can exercise all you want, but if your diet ain't right, you ain't going to really do something. It's true. true. Well, listen, we are so excited that you have joined us today. And I just love your spirit. And, um, you know, uh, hope to see you at the 30 day. The 30 day is going to be a little bit, a little bit different. Folks is going to be, you're going to be walking. I'm asking everybody to push themselves, uh, especially if you've already done a challenge that, that you're going to do 12,000 steps a day. So I'm asking people not to stay at the 10,000 level. I've asked, uh, I want my, the walking off girl staff folks to do 15,000. I'm doing 20 and I've already started doing 20 and I've been doing that every day. Um, and really excited about that. Um, and so, but it, it's going to take us to the next level. So make sure. Can I just say have, one thing? Sure. Go right ahead. Um, like I have knee problems, but I don't let that get to me. I do walk, but yeah. if you hold your phone in your hand and you sit in the chair and you move your arms and your feet and your legs, you get steps. I just want to add that. You will get steps. <laughs> I, <love it. laughs> I just want to add that. That's what's up. I love it. Well, I appreciate you, Cleana, and I thank you for coming on here. And Facebook, we are coming to you strong live with another person that you're going to want to hear from. Much love to you, my dear. Love you. Love all my sisters on on here. Love you guys. Who else? Okay. Miss Leanne. Leanne Ford. And then we want Dr. Roche to get prepared. She's going to come down at the end after Jermaine. Dr. Roche will come at the end uh, with after Jermaine. So we're looking for Leanne Ford. Yeah. And where is she at? I hear her. Uh, there she, where is Leanne? Leanne, Leanne. Hold on one second. It's a good thing you have to scroll through. Hallelujah, scroll through. Yes. Okay. Miss Leanne, so we wanted to bring her on. This is her first time being a part of one of the Walk It Off Girl challenges. And it's always good to hear from someone that wants to share something raw and up close, personal and true. So Miss Leanne, tell us where you are from. Hi, my name's Leanne and I reside in Sacramento. I was born in Germany. I've lived in a lot of places, Hawaii, the Middle East, San Diego, but I would say Sacramento is my hometown. Okay. Okay, so Sacramento. And then how did you come to learn about the challenge, the 50 day challenge that we just ended? How did you come to learn about it? Well, actually, a couple of my sister friends from church participated in the 100 day challenge and I was scrolling through Facebook and I could really just feel the energy through their posts and the celebration that they had made it 100 days. And I said, I've I've got to be a part of this. So I heard the 50 day challenge and I said, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do this. So tell us what was what when you got into the process, what was the thing that you um, that was beneficial for you immediately? What was the thing coming from being an outsider? And this is your first challenge. What was the thing that was beneficial for you or what was challenging for you? Because we want the good and the bad so we can share with people what the real is. Well, I think it's kind of an oxymoron, but I really um, like the structure. Everything was very organized. Everything was set. 
um, the morning motivations at 6 a.m. on Mondays and Fridays. They were timely. They were inspirational. They were encouraging. Mm -hmm. There were um, instructions. Um, now, I've been a manager for years, so I thought, oh, I can follow instructions. I can do all this. And after about day four, it's like, no, you don't do it the way you want to do it. You have to follow the coach, the mentor, the leader, Dr. Lakita, who I highly respect. And so it was like, I could do it. I could drink the water. I could do the steps. But having to do it the way you wanted me to do it actually was a bit was a bit of a challenge for me. And so so let's let's talk to those other sister girls. Uh, and sister girls, when I say sister girls, I mean all women, whether you're black or white. What was the benefit, though, that you found in doing the instructions the way that it was posed out to you? What was the benefit of doing it the way you were asked to do it? I would say there were several benefits, but I would say, well, well, the discipline being able to follow instructions. And we know that the God we serve, he puts instructions and principles and commands out there for us to process, to, to follow. And so it wasn't, you know, I was just like, do it this way. And so it brought discipline to my life. I was able to set my day every day. I was able to follow the instructions and I got the results I wanted because I was able to follow the instructions. And, so, and I love that you said you got the results. So, so what was you, uh, well, how much weight did you lose? Have you lost any weight? I lost 10 pounds. I hit my goal. I hit my goal. I will say I went from 174 to 164. So just really super excited about that. So I hit that goal. I'm able to sleep better at night. Um, I have a, a deeper um, relationship with God because I may, went through the fasting and the praying. Yes. But just being able to learn and grow. Um, like Sister Brenda or Brenda Moffins, I too just retired. And so it's such a big change. You know, you've been working for 40 years. I'm also just recently an empty nester. So I really had to rediscover and reset my life. Like who, who am I and what do I do every day? So the instructions help, the sisterhood help, the positive Facebook posts, the encouragement. I have new Facebook friends and um, I also joined the LDL um, Institute, Empowerment Institute. So I'm getting the, the, the nuggets from you. And I just, it's just been, I'm just overwhelmingly elated with the results and just being a part of this fabulous group, seriously. Oh. I'm like smiling so hard, my cheeks hurt because when you work so hard and I know that everything doesn't always work well, but one of the things that my team always says to me and what they want to be able to reflect, um, and mind you, I don't mind saying this, when I started the 100 day challenge um, of July 6, 2020, I will never forget the whole process from when God told me to do it. And so I did everything in like four days from June the 29th or June 30th is when I set the thing because I turned down a business venture and decided not to do it and kind of got a little upset that they asked me to do what they asked me to do. And, and primarily because I felt like, no, I don't want to do that. I, I want to be at the table and have influence. And, um, and then I got like angry and the Lord says, why be angry? I, I called you to do something. And then I did it, put it out there, told my person, what would it be like if we just got a hundred women to just walk one million steps in 100 days? And I had no help. But somebody told me they, they thought that I always had the executive team helping me, but I did it. And then they came along. And so I want to appreciate um, everyone for just hanging in there with all the ups and downs. And But I wanted to stay steady with the main thing being the main thing. Yeah. You getting the stuff that you needed to get so you can move forward. So it's been great. Any last minute thoughts that you have, Leanne? I would just encourage women, if you're watching this, if you think you can do it, you can do it. Um, yeah. I know that I know that I know that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us each and every day. So just get in there and do it. You can do it. It's a life changer, a game changer. You'll, you won't regret it. You will not regret it. The commitment. Yes. And Carry those on, sisters. Yeah, be positive. And we have our next challenge starting January the 4th. But right now the registration is going on. And 
And I'm very proud. I have asked 100 women to invite 10 women, 100 women to invite 10 women to register to be a part of this challenge. I'm telling you, it is serious, a game changer. And we will start January the 4th and we go all the way to February the 2nd. And it's going to be phenomenal. This, this, this challenger, we'll all be crying and say we made it. So, so it's going to be a blessing. Much love to you, Miss Leanne. We are Thank on you. our way to Carissa. So Carissa Farino is going to be our next person. And she also is new. And those are just chiming in. Um, I'm Dr. Lakita. You guys know who I am. I'm the founder of the Walk It Off Girl um, program, which is a behavioral mindset program that the Lord gave me 11 and a half years ago, designed to help people to use biblical principles, psychological concepts to get rid of the weight of the world. There's a multiplicity of things that I have researched and have found out that there's a correlation to why we actually maintain the physical weight in our lives. And now I'm doing more in-depth studies about how um, your health disparities um, are connected to that as well. My heart and throb is mental health, everything concerning mental health, because I just had a really warped mindset and the Lord really helped me with my mindset. And so I try to share and give as much information about how you can be helped as well. So as a result of that, we are excited to have Miss Carissa Farino and she's going to tell us where she's from. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have been I reside in Las Vegas, Nevada for the last 15 years, but I am a New Yorker at heart through and through. Uh, yes. That is actually how I got um, familiarized with this group from my girlfriend for uh, 25 years, Di Maria. I love her, my Italian she, sister, yes. <laughs> yes, so she, I, I will, she's not on here right now, so I feel safe to say, although she might see this, but she is <laughs> relentless. <laughs> <laughs> and she just would not let it go because I'll be honest when she first approached me about this I mean after this year after personal challenges divorce job loss you know a bunch of things coming at me I was like I'm not trying to hear about a challenge and walking and like all of that and she just was relentless like I know you do this and I was getting messages day after day did you sign up just stop your crap, like sign up, sign up, sign up. <laughs> and I just, I had to, you know, I knew she wasn't going to stop. Yes, and I'm so grateful to her yeah, for yeah. it. I really am. She told me uh, that she said, I've got some friends and I'm going to invite them. And she kept saying in the inbox, they're almost in, they're almost in. And then I see uh, the name and she says, I think she did it. And I said, what's her name? And I said, yes, she registered. And so yeah. I'm excited. So tell me, um, you like myself have gone through divorce and divorce is tricky. Um, I've got two children from the divorce and divorce is not fun. It's yucky. And yeah. it's a breach. It's a break. Um, it's a, it's a whole lot of stuff. So how did the, the process of being in the challenge, like help you, um, with the, you know, how, how far removed are you with your divorce? Well, I'm, a, it's about three years, Okay. Um, fresh but it's, yeah. you know, it's still, I was married for 18 years. Okay. So it's fresh sister girl. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. So this has been, this has been, you know, a heck of a process for sure. Um, and I'm also new into the working field since my divorce, I was a stay home mom for 18 years. So I've had that challenge also. Um, I'm in the mental health field. I'm a substance abuse counselor. I love so that. I've, I've appreciated a lot of, you know, the, the mental health component, because uh, like you, I feel like that at the end of the day, that it's, it's what it's about, you know, it's what the it's center about. of everything. So I've appreciated that aspect. And also I had no idea because she, um, she didn't let on that there was this spiritual component to this <laughs> and and she knows you know because we're friends for so long who I am and that's a very much a part of me so of course I gravitated to that right away and I need I needed it I needed it I needed him I needed to be closer to my lord I've gained that um mm -hmm. tremendously yes. and so so overall there's been so many benefits I haven't lost any physical weight Mm -hmm. um, which I've, you know, I've told you about inches. Yes. Yeah, I can tell because, you know, you feel it when you put on your clothes and things yes. like that. I've gained strength because of the little, you know, kind of tidbits added in with the jumping jacks and the, the <laughs> weight and the this and that. So I've gained some strength. Um, but most of all, just like awareness and clarity mm -hmm. that 
my health is the greatest wealth. It really is. Mm. And I want it. And I want it more than ever. And, and, and you just said something. So okay, I just have to say this. Um, I want it. And can I just get the women in Facebook land to say, I want good health. Just say it. I want good health. Matter of fact, every last one of you that's on the call, the Walk It Off Girl Challengers, unmute your buttons. And on the count of three, we're just going to say, I want good health. One, two, three. I, I want good health. health. I want good health. I want good health. I want good health. I want good health. Yes. So, so, so let me ask you this question. So, um, how, 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 are your kids still young? Uh, 11, 17 and 20. Okay. So I've got a 12 and a 14 year old girl and boy. And, mm -hmm. um, so as you're going forward and as you're thinking about it, you know, stay at home, mom, that's serious. That's scary. Look, you were being taken care of, which is not an issue. And then you got to get out there to right. do something, you know, what have you gravitated from this community? I, this community is boss to me because oh, the yeah. ladies, I learned something from all of them. Heather, I, Arva, she's like a historian. We're going to have her to teach a, 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 a black history thing. And, <laughs> and listen, she's just phenomenal. I am going to have you in February. Yes, honey, we're going to do a whole little program. And, um, but how have you been able to really, um, set the pace for that change of working and finding yourself? What have you been able to gravitate and, and how has God been able to help you with that? Well, first having, you know, the support here with all the sisters here in the community, uh, it's just, it's a, it's a blessing. Like the other ladies have said, the encouragement, you know, seeing the messages, reading the progress and, mm -hmm. you know, the challenges that, mm -hmm. that they have, you know, um, kind of gotten through each day. Yes. Um, that's been motivating in itself, you know, yes. not, you know, all parts of it. There's the, the comments, the way to go, the, this, the, that, but then just reading the stuff that they've gone through some sickness, some illness, yes. we've seen some hospitalizations through some like major things. And then, you know, days later, I'm like, she's back. I need to get out and get stepping. Like if she's doing this, I need to. Like that's yeah. been really. <laughs> <laughs> I see somebody in the hospital. They they sent the picture to me. They were in the hospital, hooked up to the IV. This is the guy's truth. Walking the hallway. Uh, yeah. In the hospital. People is serious, you know. So it's and like <laughs> if they if these ladies can do this and they're facing these challenges, so could I. And you know, and, and I've learned through this too. And, and even as a counselor, I mean, I know this, I deal with this with clients, you know, each day with their willingness to change. And it kind of forced me to look inward and say, what am I willing to do? Mm. Because I know that my motivation is not going to carry me. Like it's only going to take me so far. I have to be disciplined. I have to make the commitment mm. because that's, what's going to sustain change is yeah. stuff that we do daily, every single day. Did you hear what she said? What's going to sustain change is what we do daily. Say that. Put that in your notes. What I what I do daily is what's going to sustain my change every single day. I'm telling you, everybody's boss here. So, so excited. Thank you so much, Carissa. You are Thank boss. Thank you so much. New Yorker. I can hear that New Yorker in you coming out. My best friend is from New Jersey. <laughs> So, and she is a real New Yorker. Her name is, her name is uh, Nia um, uh, Tia. Tia Jackson, she actually has a restaurant in New Jersey. All my Jersey folks, yes, go buy there. Grabbing the best Southern restaurant ever in the world, I'm telling you. So love you so much and thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank You're very, you. very, very welcome. Yes, I'm so excited. Woohoo! Okay, who's next? Okay, on our list. Oh, I call Skinny Girl Face. Yes, that would be Novell Burks. Skinny Girl Face, yes, she homegirl she said I'm coming out and you gonna see the change because bam all right Miss Novell I've known you for a good long time but hey yes, many do not know you so tell them where you're from and tell us a little bit about yourself thanks for having me my name is Novell I live out here in the border of Antioch and in, in, uh, Brentwood and I've been out in this area since 1998 so Whoa. 
but originally from Vallejo, so right over the bridge. So the Bay Area has been my home since day one. Okay. Bay Area has been your home since day one. You were a part of the 100-day challenge, and then you yes, also ma'am. came back for the 50-day challenge. So when you started off, you had a weight goal. And so wh- what happened? What what was your, and why did you even join? You know, how did you see it? Who Did somebody tell you, or did you just decide you need to do it? You know what? I saw it on Facebook and was like, I can do walking. <laughs> and quite as it's kept, I've been in a thousand and one challenges and maybe have lost a thousand pounds and turned around and gained it back. <laughs> but um, I really didn't know what I was getting into when I first started. I just knew we were walking, right? And I was like, I can walk. Why? I can walk. Let's do it. Walk. So I joined. And of course, I talked to a couple of my friends who also joined the challenge and we all love it. I love it. I, um, what I like the most or best part is you didn't ask us when we first started, okay, how many, you know, get your inches, get on the scale, publicize it to the whole world. Okay. And then I want you to be up here at, you know, 5 a.m. jogging with the rest of the people, blah, blah, blah. And not that that's bad. Right. But at this stage in my life, <laughs> it wasn't for me. And yeah. um, I'm, I'm older too. I just turned 53 this year. No, 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 53. Tom, um, tell me you go ahead on, girl. Yes. Oh, thank you. So I'm like, you know, um, pushing weight is great. We need it. We need yeah. that. But I needed to start off some, with something I can really do. <laughs> and I really didn't have any, didn't know what, have any expectations except to walk and I knew that that was a good thing for the body so I was like I can do it let's go ahead and let's let's get in and you and and you did it and and so as a result you have lost how much weight (laughs) so um I did the 100 day and the 50 day and combined it's 20 total pounds I went from 251 to 231 um waving weighing in um this last couple of days but a ton of inches. I was getting ready. I was pushing a 22 and now I'm back into my 16. So I am so, so, and you know, that's nerve wracking because you're looking in your closet and you have all these sizes, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, I can put these on what? Wearing color now. I'm not always wearing black. I got on Boom, color. Ooh. <laughs> As. You know, you that kind of thing. As. So, that's what I'm talking about. And you that are watching in Facebook land, if you are 22, honey, you can get to 16 too. Give me yes, 30 days can. and honey, we will crack and whip and we will yes, get you can. together. Give I me 30 it. days, honey. Awesome. Yes, so let, so I love that because Go it ahead. helped me put things in perspective. Like my job is mentally demanding and okay. I'm a real estate consultant for a new home developer. So um, it's a lot of movements and a lot of moving parts. And um, I would not take care of myself. I'd be stressed out or excited. You know, if something exciting happens, I go eat. Something bad happens, I'll go eat. Nothing happens, I'll be eating. So it helped me kind of put um, a lot of things in compartments in my mind to put myself first, Mm -hmm. whether it is to get up an extra 30 minutes earlier to get some walk-in and to really take your lunch and leave the office and walk around the block come home, you know, put in a couple of steps so I can meet the 10, you know, yes. so it was, it's uh, been definitely helpful. And then fasting, clearing your mind, clearing your stomach where you're not like feeling like, you know, yes. weighted of food and physically weighted. So it kind of let me get rid of all of that tension, if you will. Yes. And let me, let me ask you, you know, because when people hear about fasting, they're like, oh my God, but it, the fasting was doable, right? The fasting yes. was doable. Yeah. Cause it's just when you wake up at 12 o'clock um, on the specific days and, and the way that the Lord gave me that piece is one, so we can recondition our bodies to yes. uh, want to be in alignment with the spirit of God. So we can't hear if we're just weighted down with beef and pork chops, all the things that, you know, yes. mashed yes. potatoes loaded, you know, bacon bits. Sour cream. Yes. You tell them hungry, Connie. Connie's my, but that's my personal cook. I, I'm hungry, girl. I, I, I need some oxtails and some gravy and some rice right through here. I love it. I'm starving. But so let me ask you this question. So you're 53. Um, you recognize uh, what you are willing to do 
Is this a challenge that anybody can do if they can walk? Can anybody do this challenge? Yes, anybody can do If you can walk, you walk to your car, you walk in Target, you walk here, you can walk, anybody can walk. And it's, I mean, you it, it does become a mental challenge because of the number you put out there. Yeah. So you're like, oh my God. But what made me realize, girl, I was only doing two, like 2,500 steps a day before the challenge. Interesting. Because I would go to my desk, sit at my desk, back yeah. and forth, run over here. You know, we got a cart at my office. We could take people around in the cart to show the properties. But I would come home and it'd only be 2,500. So I felt like 10,000 was like overkill. <laughs> but anybody can do it. You can yes. walk. If you set your time up, your intentions in the yes. morning, the motivations in the mornings were great. The post, I love the post because it helps you put your mind in the mode of doing what's best for you. Yes. Living for what God has you to be, whatever that is. Mine is different from yours. Yours is different from mine. You can do it and you can put yourself first. And then you start to feel better and see yourself getting closer and closer to those steps. I Love didn't make it, you know, I did the million or the hundred day and was shy of the, the million steps. Oh. But this time I was like, no, they're not going to catch me on the 500. I mean, <laughs> I'm getting the 500. <laughs> If I got to like walk 50,000 in a day, you know what I mean? But it, but that really was just me getting my schedule together, making yes. sure I walk a few extra days because sometimes you you feel like you do need to rest. But yes. if you walk extra days on extra steps on another day, you know, it kind of overlaps and helps you. Yes, it does. Plan. So yes, anybody can do it. Anybody can walk. And you don't reach the 10,000, you try. Yes. You're doing better than what you did before absolutely. you even started. So absolutely. Well, I'm just elated and I'm ecstatic. And like I said before, we have the 30-day challenge that's coming up. You can register um, LDL Empowerment Group. You can go to our page, uh, my page, Lakita Long, or to any one of these ladies' pages um, and to see that we want you to have an experience of a lifetime. So the registration is going to close on December the 29th because we want to give you guys enough time to peruse around the 30-day actual Facebook group and along with all the other stuff that we have, uh, uh, you know, put you guys in connection with and the challenge is really it's really going to challenge us we're going to see, push to see if we can't do 12,000 steps a day um 10,000 is for normal weight and all that kind of stuff but we're going to push ourselves drink our water do our steps and really organize our lives so Novell, i'm just so appreciative of you you're cute i see you slim face girl yes Thank girl that's you. my new name for you and it's been a joy to have you and uh, we're excited until we see each other uh, on the next one. I love you so much and have a great, great. Love evening. you too. Thank Bless you so much. You. Thank You're you. welcome. Hey, okay. Uh, I think there's another newbie, um, Georgia Williams. That's where we're going. So we're going to Georgia Williams. There she is. No hiding, hey. Miss Williams. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, you got it. Okay, come on, let's do it. Okay, so. Facebook, if you're just chiming in, we are doing our Walk It Off Girl end of our 50 day challenge. We've already ended our challenge this week. We're excited about that. And we're just doing our speak out. And our speak out is just letting you all know what we've done, how we've done it. And then we want you to be a part of our upcoming 30 day challenge. I live by what I do. I am not playing any games with it. That's why I'm vapping up my own stuff. I said, I'm getting to 140. And yes, I'm gonna look like my daughter. And yes, <laughs> I'm gonna look like a teenager. But I want people to see that when you get focused on a thing, you can absolutely accomplish the thing. So welcome, Miss Georgia. Blessings to you. Uh, tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from. Hello, I'm from Santa Fe, California. I was raised in East Palo Alto, California. Um, mother of two. Um, grandmother four, and I'm a bowler, and I just love life. And, and I'm happy to be a part of this group. And okay, so she said that uh, we have a little bit of feedback, like it's a little bit of a delay. 
Um, does anybody else uh, hear that delay as well? Or is it just me? Maybe it just might be on my machine. It might say, okay, you do hear it. Because we want to make sure that people hear what Ms. Williams is saying. Because I heard her say that she's a bold. Uh, it's still a little bit. Uh, speak again. Sometimes uh, press your mute button and then press it back on. Oh, now she's frozen. Okay. And now you are frozen. Yeah. Okay, tell you what. We're going to come back to Georgia Williams. Um, sometimes uh, maybe you come out and come back in. We're going to come back to you because I need to hear your story. Whilst we're waiting for her, Miss Janice. Uh, Miss Janice Woodall. Oh, wonderful. Uh, we're going to Janice Woodall and bring her on for just a moment while we, and then we'll come back to our Miss georgia williams all right there you are miss janice so tell us a little bit about who you are where you're from so my name is janice woodall i'm from elk grove california which is a little city outside of sacramento california like okay. right before you get to sacramento okay. um i heard about the group through my sister brenda moppins yeah um when she told me about the challenge i thought uh not really looking to gain weight or lose weight um, because I walk already. So, um, but I was looking for the fellowship. So, um, and which was, you know, a blessing because I already walk at least 10,000 to 12,000 miles or steps a day, but I did it alone. Mm -hmm. So this kind of gave me the motivation and getting closer with God. And, you know, instead of listening to music, I was listening to Bible study and, you know, you know, music with the gospel, just trying to get closer, taking those steps closer with him and walking with him. And and ironically, you mentioned something, Janice, and yes, you do look like your sister, Miss Brenda Moppins. Yeah, I say her whole government name. I am 61 already. We're 11 months apart, exactly. My you birthday is February right. 3rd. Her birthday is January 3rd. Oh, oh yeah. wow. So I'll so be 60 today. Right. Yes, <laughs> well, one of the things you said, Janice, was that um, your purposeful steps that you made. And so this particular challenge was called Purpose Driven Steps. Yes. And I wanted people to experience just what you said. So it really blessed me to hear you say that it really caused you to like, just hear the word of God. And yes. And so tell me, um, being a person that is already walking, you came into the community. How would you, how would you uh, do that? What would if you I was, wait, I, somebody else, I could hear somebody else in the background, but what did you say? I said, okay, so my question is, if somebody's already walking, uh -huh. how, how would you um, tell them that this particular program might be of a benefit for them or this challenge? If you're, if you're looking for like fellowship or if you're one that walks alone, like I was walking alone, my husband, you know, he, we're both outdoorsy people. So we hike a lot and we kayak and we bike ride, but on the, he's away from home through the week. So I'm home alone uh, through the week. So it kind of gave me, you know, the friends that I needed to be with to do this. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, I was doing it by myself. It's like, sometimes you just don't, you, you do it, but you don't want to do it yeah. because you're alone doing it. Yeah. So I was like, well, you know, I have these women and we're all doing these steps and I watch you guys do your steps. Even though I'm still doing mine alone, I felt like I was there with you guys. <laughs> and I'm so glad so, you said that. Because, because I want people to feel like you do have a family. It is right. A and that is the purpose of the steps. It is the purpose of the classes and the other stuff right. that, that, that there is attached to it. That it is a community. It's a community it is. of you deciding, I'm going to change my mind and do something for myself. Tell us one thing that absolutely um, was beneficial for your now life. What was one thing that was absolutely beneficial for your now life? I really needed to like cleanse drink the water. I'm not a water drinker. You know, I'll drink like a cup of water a day. <laughs> oh my God. I had to go out and buy a bottle to tell me, okay, by this time and this time, you should have drank this much. Right. So now I'm drinking the big, the big 64 Yay. ounces of water. I even got Brenda one. I'm like, look, <laughs> this, this really helps me because if I'm behind by two hours, 
I got to drink that much because I'm behind by two hours. So that really helped me a lot. I'm telling you, I am not a water drinker, but I'm drinking it now. The only good thing, uh, the only thing that I really need to do, where can I find a quick bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have that? I'm like, jeez, I cannot. I'm like, uh, and you know, you have to drink the water, right? Right. But it's like you find yourself in the middle of the night. It's like, really? <laughs> right when I'm turning over, I got to go to the bathroom? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right, 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 right then. Well, you know, Janice, I am so excited uh, about it all. I know that you already know about um, your sister and, and what she brings and so forth. And she was probably right. not going to not get uh, out of it. So you, I already know you're probably going to be joining us for the 30 day too. If she hasn't. Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just want to applaud you for, uh, first of all, you look good. You look Thank great. Thank you. That, that I was have saying, four all kids. Fine. And like, all all y'all fine. I'm telling you. <laughs> Thank and, you. And just as cute as you want to be and gorgeous. I, I've been getting more and more compliments. This might be my year too. Of getting <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Age it's gracefully. <laughs> hey, age gracefully. So thank you so much, Miss Janice. We appreciate you and we're excited. And I want um, Eileen Riviera, I want you to get prepared. You're going to be our very last person to speak tonight. So you got a couple more sisters before you. So to give you some time to take a breath, she's like, oh my Lord, <laughs> I'm going to be speaking. <laughs> so you'll be our very last <laughs> and you are number 10 so it's so beautiful to see your face much blessings to you our next person is Thank going you. to be um let's go to jermaine davis jermaine <laughs> davis where are you my dear You're i'm sweet. right here <laughs> okay let's get let's get i love it she like ready to, wow come on jermaine she acted as one of our um distributors too i'm looking for her where's she at uh, right here, right here. Oh, you know what? You might be in the front. <laughs> Hold on, one second. Let's go. There she is. She was right at the front. I'm going to listen. We are having a bunch of fun, and we do have fun. I will say this. I've done a lot of groups. I've been a part of a lot of things. I've created a lot of things, but by far, I will absolutely say this. From the start of the 100 day, even to right now, there is just a different camaraderie. There's a different spirit. There's a different something with the ladies. There is a um, there is a trust and there is a loyalty and there is a, um, a safety. People have told me they feel safe, that they can land. We've had people to come on there and we, we got like strict little guidelines about what we can do and so forth on the page. But we had a sister that just was going through and we just let her rant on the go through that one rant because it was fresh for her what she was going through with the, the marriage and the divorce and just trying to pick up the pieces and just to watch every last one of you women chime in not from a place of trying to be overly religious but a place like my sister is hurting and you can feel that like it was so beautiful like i still go back and look at that post because it just is what i'm about so to see that is awesome. So my dear sister, Jermaine, tell us a little bit about who you are and <laughs> where you are from. Sure. Can you hear me? I hear you good. Good. Well. Sure. So I am Jermaine Davis. I'm a newbie. My sister, Beverly Brown, told me about the challenge. I actually came to the 100-day event at the lake. And I felt so intimidated by all these women in their <laughs> black, <laughs> in their black walk it off girl uniforms. As a matter of fact, me and another lady that I met at the 100 day challenge, we were the last ones to get around the lake, two hours. And I was like, oh God, I feel so shame. And so I, I talked to Beverly, she kept encouraging me, girl, you need to get out there and walk. And I said, Beverly, you know, I can't do that. You know, I can't do it because I, deal with, I dealt with the spirit of procrastination all my life. Mm -hmm. um, I would start something, but I wouldn't finish. And for some reason, it was something just edging me on to start this 30 day challenge, this 50 day challenge when she told me about it. I even talked myself out of walking the lake the first week. Um, the reason why I got into this challenge because I have a lot of medical issues. 
Okay. This is the first year of my life I have not been sick since January 30th. Oh my and God. I don't, I don't want to start crying. You know, I don't want to start, start crying. You should. If I start tearing up. <laughs> Um, you know, but I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my testimony. I deal with um, diabetes. I take insulin. I take all this other stuff. Um, I have severe asthma. My face has been really big because I've been on steroids uh, for years. Last year, I was on steroids for six months straight. Um, didn't think I could, could ever walk. I mean, it entered into my heart, but I didn't think that me. No, no, no. I couldn't do it. And so anyway, I started on October 19th. And I told this, this is the thing that God did for me. I already had a relationship with God. But I say, Lord, you know, I can't do it. And I need some support. I need you to help me. When I said that, I told my family that I was joining the 30, the 50 day challenge. I thought my family were going to, you know, that they were going to mock me. Oh, she just talking. Here she go again. She's not going to finish. The very first day I went to the lake, my mom came with me. My sisters came with me because they knew how important it was for me to, to just lose the weight. And uh, my, my sister Beverly, Marilyn, Barbara, taught my neighbors, you know, and I told them about my story. I said, mama, I'm gonna be healed one day. And I believe that. Ah. And so I trusted God. And um, they came with me on the first day. And the very first day I walked the lake, all I could hear was focus on the end result. And I say, Lord, everything that I have in me, you are greater. I have to keep moving. And I couldn't do the 10,000 steps. I remember. I couldn't do the 10,000 steps. But one day my sister said, you know, Gigi, stop talking yourself out of it. You are, we are here to support you. And um, by the fourth day, I was doing 10,000 steps. It took me an hour and a half to get around Lake Merritt, but now I can do it 45, 50 minutes, no problem. <laughs> and um, I'm walking 12,000 steps now. But the thing that God did for me, because I let him lead me, I'm <laughs> off of um, two medications. I'm off of one diabetic medication. I no longer take water pills. When I started, I weighed 240. I'm now down to 224. So I am just, you know, I give all the glory, all, God, all the oh, glory. Dude. When you see my, when you see my posts, my posts are real. This is not a, a play thing here. Not a game. You know, this, this, this is real for me. It's personal for me because procrastination can almost kill you. And that's where I was at. You know, I was dying inside because I had talked my heart, my heart had talked my mind into, I can't do it, you know, so... <laughs> You, you just said something. My heart had talked my mind into doing something. Mm -hmm. and you know, it's true. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth, the mouth speaks. speaks. So right. it, whatever is in your heart, your mouth is going to say. So if in your heart you say you can't, your mouth is going to say you can't. Right. Your ears will hear it and your body and your actions will follow what it has right. heard you say. Because power of life and death is where? In, in the, the tongue. Oh, so, don't get me started. I feel, I feel don't get my me help. started. Don't get me started. <laughs> don't get me started. I, listen, <laughs> so, so let's talk for just a second. And, and mm -hmm. so we're going to talk for a second to the thousands and thousands of those who have a lot of medical issues. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we always tell people to exercise, walk at your own risk and all of that. Mm -hmm. It's really important. Mm -hmm instructions and all of that um and for the 30 day you you won't be able to bypass anything else unless you hit the done that you've read it and all of that so was it scary for you to know that you had all these health issues to really make the commitment and what would you say to someone who has a lot of health issues about mm. why they just need to make the commitment uh, for me, because I do have a relationship with God, and I know that everybody's relationship is on a different level, you know, he said to me, do you really trust me? You know, the trust factor between God and the doctor. When I um, attended the LDL empowerment group, one of the things that stuck with me, the person said, are you going to let Kaiser be your healer or your dealer? Yeah, that's and exactly for me, for years... 
Yes. yes. For years, I let Kaiser be my dealer. They was my drug dealers, you know, and I was like, well, I know this medicine better work. They didn't gave me, I was once on 25 pills a day. Now I'm down to eight, eight mm -hmm. a day. And I'm going to be off of that too. You know, mm -hmm. so I didn't use them as my healer. God gave doctors to heal us, you know? So when I say I speak to the medication, you're going to work, you're mm -hmm. going to work. So for anybody that's sick, y'all look at me. I wouldn't have never thought in a million years after putting on all these layers, and I'm not talking about layers of fat, I'm talking about mentally, yes. because I've dealt with uh, self-esteem issues from gaining weight from all the steroids, anxiety from being scared to even go out and walk, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? But God wanted me to come into this like a child so he could teach me new things. Mm -hmm. I had to be teachable. And the example he gave me, when he brought my mother out to the lake and I was walking, he showed me, I want you to act like a little kid in front of your mother. You don't know nothing. You let me guide you. And, ah. you know, it, it has worked. So if it's anybody that's out there sick, y'all can have my number. I will call you and give you some encouragement. You know, I pray for you anybody, now. you know, and I'm encouraged by this group. I'm really oh, yeah. encouraged. I have a lot of sisters in this group. I love my sister, Beverly Brown. She knows yes. she's my heart. She's, she's one of our talented women. Yes. Yeah. So now it's on. You Wait till you see the whole group <laughs> in the next 30, 30 me days. Me and my sisters are funking because we're trying to see who's going to lose the most weight. Oh, and guess what? And you should be funking because for the 30 day, we got three prizes. The one first prize that we are giving on the 30th day, the person that loses mm. the most weight, $250 cash. Do you understand mm -hmm. me? Hello, I'm somebody. Saying. <laughs> the most weight, make sure that they participate in all the things that they've been asked to do, 250 mm -hmm. Then the second place prize winner uh, will get a gift card to the wellness shop. So if you ain't got no gear, and we <laughs> make sure you get your walking off girl gear, we still right. have leggings available. We still have, um, we just ordered new hoodies and fitness jackets. So those mm -hmm. are on the way. We had to reorder some new ones. Um, so, and then the third place um um thing is to uh have access to the ldl empowerment institute for two months so mm -hmm. I, that's what's up so third three prizes the first was 250 so i'm who ready i wish i could get the 250 i need to me, me. <laughs> but uh, la lastly before we go i just want to say um when i came into this uh to this challenge i'm married i've been married to my husband we've been together 37 years Oh and I say, God. Lord, I say, Lord, what do I need to do? The first thing God said, your husband is still your ministry. So I'm just going to back up, be cute and be cute for him. But I'm also going to walk it off, walk off, yes. continue to walk off the way to the world. So and, I and love you guys. <laughs> and let me just say this, Jermaine, and I appreciate you for saying it because the people that have been in other things that I have done, uh, like my 90 day uh, event and all this other stuff, they actually had to sign something because I believe in families. I'm serious about that. There's no, mm -hmm. you doing something and even ministry, your ministry should not exclude your spouse. If you are married, right. hello lights. If you are married, it should not. So if, if they are not really with it and it's causing havoc in the home, then you have to inbox me and say, this might not be a good time. We want mm -hmm. nothing but in. And you know what? We, we've been getting a lot of uh, husbands that say, keep walking it off. Now they want something for walking <laughs> off guy. <laughs> they like put the yeah. set of girl to guy, you know? So we working on something, trying to see how we can help our, our brothers get fit too. So I love you, sis. You are a gem. Thank I can you. See it in your Thank face. you. Your face and got slim too. I'm slim. Like, <laughs> yes, with your cute stuff. Love you so Thank much. You. And just awesome. Thank you. We're almost down to it. We have, uh, so if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Lakita. This is the Walk It Off Girl Speak Out. We just finished our 50-day challenge. We started October 19th, and we just ended it this week. It's been a phenomenal experience. The people have walked 500,000 steps and lost the weight of the world. People stopped being depressed and anxious and, and learning how to take their power back. And man, it's just incredible. We're going to see if our Miss Georgia Williams, if she is ready. Is Georgia, is she ready? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, she's can you hear me? better. I can hear you. Can you hear me? And I'm about to bring you on. 
It's going to be Georgia. Then we're going to do Dr. Roche. And then our last person is going to be Miss Riviera. So, all right. Dan, you sound much better. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Tell us where you're from again, because we didn't get none of it. We just started fresh. I'm from Go San Leandro, it. California, raised in East Palo Alto. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Marvelous. Okay. So tell us, how'd you get to the Walk It Off Girl? You know what? I, I don't even know how I ended up in here. My good sister friend, bowling friend, Pam Sterling, invited me um, to walk at the lake one day. And it was about three days before the 50 day challenge was to begin. And we were in a conversation, we were just walking. It was just a casual walk because I had seen the end of your hundred day where you all were gathered at the lake. And I thought, oh, that's cool. And I was liking the post. And I can recall her saying, oh, maybe next time I'll tell you about it next time. But she never gave any details. So it was on October 16th, I can remember that. And she said, um, well, the next challenge is gonna start on October 19th. And I said, oh, well, I'd like to walk with you guys. I'm not sure what it is. She said, okay, well, go on and sign up. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I'll, I'll be honest with you. So I, I think I had a little trouble the first day signing up, but I, I yes. finally did it. Yes. I got in there um, and October 19th, I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's guidelines in place. Okay, there's some accountability. Okay, this is just what I need. This is just what I needed. Yeah, um, so, let's, so let's talk a little bit about the guidelines. I think Leanne had talked about the rules and so forth. So when you saw the guidelines and you saw how stringent we were about this is what we need, because I know what works. I helped somebody, she was over 400 something pounds and God bless her soul, her name is Brianna and she passed away. But I drove all the way from here to help her to lose the weight. Everyone in her family was 400 plus pounds, every single person. And she was only 30 years old. Um, and, uh, and she ended up losing about 37 pounds and then went to the hospital and they did something wrong, like a staph infection or something and she died mm. in the hospital okay. and so I do this work because but I'm stringent about the instructions because she lost that weight in like three weeks you know oh, wow. 30 something pounds yeah. but she followed the instructions how did you get to the point where you really knew I better follow the instructions well I've done so all my life I've been a, I was <laughs> I was a small person <laughs> after having children my, my first child I only gained 19 pounds so oh, for me wow. I was always yeah, and I was 130 pounds up until I turned like 42, 43. Interesting. And then, yeah, and then I had sinus issues. So I ended up being on steroids and I gained weight. And then, of course, the menopause, everything set in. And then the weight it started coming. And I kept saying, oh, this is the heaviest of I, I've ever been. And that heavy just kept on being heavier. Heavy. <laughs> um, but I think what happens, we get caught in people look at you and they say, oh, but it looks good on you. But I'm looking at the scale and, I'm, and I know I'm not as healthy as I should be. Yeah. But I knew I was at a point that yeah. I needed to be accountable for myself because yeah. I had done a 10 day green smoothie cleanse and I had lost about 15 pounds on that, was feeling good. I gained it back. You know, I've done boot camps, but I knew this 50 day, this was something that was gonna keep me in there, force me to be disciplined and this was about me. This was my journey. Mm. So I just yes. knew that it was going to be a yes. day by day. Yeah. So. And and so with it being a day by day, was there any time, Georgia, that you ever felt like like frustrated uh, about your process or progress? Was there any time you was just like frustrated or felt like, oh my God, this is just too much. So we can just be able to share the real with folks too. You know, actually, no, I've, been, I've had a Fitbit for many years now. And from the time that I okay. got it, I always set my goal for 10,000. But um, as one of the other young ladies mentioned, um, when I was working, I would find myself sitting at the desk, sitting at the desk, not okay. getting up, not leaving. Then I did get in a routine where I was starting to get up and go out and take walks. And I think a lot, sometimes we get into a depressed state that we don't realize that we're in because right. I'm always the bubbly type of individual. I was laid off last year after 21 years on my job, you know, and then we went into the pandemic, you know. So I just I just needed to do this for me. I needed to just stop making excuses. And the only time that I would get discouraged is when that clock was ticking, but the steps weren't. And 
about the 12 a.m. Right. And then I would be traveling a couple of times. I had traveled to see my daughter in Texas, and there was a time difference. So I'm pushing to get those steps in. I'm losing hours on the plane. So I had those days, but then I would tell myself, you know what? I will not be defeated. So tomorrow, you got to get 11,000 in, or you got to get 12,000 in. You got to make up those steps. So I would say between that and the water were my biggest things. I think the most I got was, a hundred gallons one day. I'm still struggling with that gallon a day, but um, oh, I'm still pushing ounces. myself. I yeah. mean, a hundred ounces. Excuse me. I'm about to say, whoa, um, a gallon a day. A yeah, not not a hundred gallons, but um, a gallon a day. So I'm yes. still struggling with that. Um, yes. but I'm still pushing towards that goal. So. Push. Well, listen, yes. I I'm elated uh just by you being here and just your whole story and just your energies. Kudos to Pamela. Uh, and the folks, they, they are just really great people. And uh, she told you three days before, so you didn't have a whole lot of time to back <laughs> out. <laughs> so, so you already know when we're doing the 30 day, the 30 day is a combination of both the physical, but the 30 day, I'm heavily focusing a lot on your mental stamina. For the 30 day, it's going to change the game about your mental stamina and how you really think your process and that's going to be the, the 30 day along with doing 12,000 steps is what we're going to be asking in Jesus name. Amen. So we're looking. Well, I'm excited about the 30 day. My daughter, um, she lives in Houston and she said, mom, I'll do the 30 day with you. Where do we sign up? So um, <laughs> I'm excited about that. She said she would join me. So we're going to do that. Um, and, 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 and I'm challenging. So I'm going to challenge you too, along with all the other ladies here. We're challenging every lady to get 10 women signed up. Get 10 women. Tell them you got to sign up. And then you just make sure you check in with those 10 women. It's going to be fun. But they're going to say at the end of the 30. I promise you, because you know the new year, new resolutions, and we need new resolutions. We need new stuff. And I'm telling you, God's going to bless us. We're going to be like, whoa, what just happened? Like, we're going to feel the powerful impact of that. So you got your daughters, and now you got nine more to go get. <laughs> yes, okay. ma'am. Can I, can I say one last thing? I just want to encourage the ladies or anybody that's listening. Yes, please do. Um, it's not always about the weight, because initially yes. I knew the weight wasn't leaving, but I could feel myself. I could feel my body changing. Yes. Um, this necklace I have on right now was back when I was 130 pounds and I could not get my finger in here. And so I just watch different areas of my body that I'm able to do things. And one thing in particular, I had to laugh at myself the other day when I got out the shower. Um, I hated my stretch marks after my kids, but I start to see the stretch marks coming back. So that told me that I was starting to also lose in the midsection, even yes. though I had only lost nine pounds, yes, but that I had lost a lot of inches. So just to be like encouraged that. and be encouraged. That's all I can say. I'm and excited. God you. I'll take the nine. Nine pounds is better than no pounds in 50 days. Folks is not losing nine pounds in 50 months. So yeah. thank you so much. And we're so thank appreciative. Thank you for your vision. That we were able to get you back on here. Much, much love. Let's see who else we have. All right. We got two more. Dr. Roche Brown, come on downtown. Honey, this is a clinical psychologist, honey. Yes, yes. I, I asked her for advice. She is the one. She, so introduce yourself, sister girl. She does a whole lot of other stuff that she'll be sharing some other things with us too to get these finances in order. But tell us who you are, where you're from. Yes, so I am Dr. Roche Brown. I am from Oakland, but I live in San Leandro now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't, it's at my home. <laughs> um, but I am a licensed clinical psychologist, um, as well as a financial coach. Um, I call myself the doctor of rethinking because I help you to yes. rethink thinking so you can have a new way of living. So yeah, that's me. <laughs> so, so let's talk for a second. All right, so listen, Doc, so you... Um, I've heard you talk, um, you've done therapeutic work for 14 years. I'm ecstatic that you do that. Um, I'm a therapist on, on the mental health side. My doctor is a doctor of education and counseling psych. Um, I, I love listening to you speak. It's just for not you, Bernice and Sabrina Robertson, all the black girl magic that just makes it pop. You know, um, I love mental health, everything. So tell me, how difficult was it for you, someone that helps people, um, you know, get their lives in check when you say, hey, 
<laughs> I got it. How difficult it was for you to come to that realization? Because I want others that my professional sisters out there, LinkedIn world, that this is going to be also played out on. You need it too. Yeah. Tell us, how did you deal with just overcoming the fact that you help others and you need to help also? Yeah, I think, you know, what happens as mental health professionals all the time, we tell people about self-care and we don't practice it ourselves, right? Yeah. Um, and particularly like during COVID land, that's what I've been calling it, until we've been in COVID land, you know, my life didn't slow down. You know, the need for everything that I did, like actually increased significantly. People who never thought they ever would go to therapy was like, I need therapy. You know, there are people's finances. Everybody was scared. The market was going down. So I was helping with that. And so my life was sped up so much that by the time that I hit um, um, the, the um, 50 day challenge, I was burnt out. <laughs> and um, found myself, you know, I was, you know, of course, eating all kind of wrong. Um, of course, and 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 and, and the people in order to make them make you feel good, they was giving me more food. So yeah. at, at, you know, when we're at work, I work at Kaiser. They was bringing in more snacks because they were like, "Oh, everybody needs some little healthy treats to make you feel good." And I was like, "They are making me feel good, not my body though." Um, so that was kind of the part of it um, for me. And so it was kind of hard to get started um, because I just felt yeah. like I was in this routine, and I was just I felt busy constantly. Yeah. Um, and, and let's talk about it because you are you you're busy you do have stuff how does a busy person acquiesce and move their schedule to do what's needed to be done how, how do you do that I mean what what would you say to somebody that really does have a busy life and how do they make the change so I, I tried a lot of different things um so since we were in the 50-day challenge so uh, for one thing I, I work, live in San Leandro and I go I work at Kaiser in San Leandro so I only okay, go that. in, only work part time. So I, I work three days, and so I was like, I can walk to work. It's two miles um, to work, um, and so I decided, you know, to challenge myself every day to walk there. And so when I walked there and walked back, um, you know, it was, you know, it would hit hit my, um, you know, my steps for the day, um, actually more. Um, so that really helped me out, um, and then it also gives more opportunity just to think. Like, you know, just with God, you know what I mean? Because you're so quick to like, you know, wake up in the morning and just kind of go. Yes. Um, but this helped me to have like a moment, you know what I mean, before work. So it gave me like a good transitional period to kind of think about things. I would listen to like different YouTubes, personal development. If I didn't, you know, see your live, I hit the live while I'm walking, um, you know, so that really helped me to kind of slow down um, a, a little bit within mm -hmm. my life. Um, so I was able to do that. Um, on days that I didn't go in, I was doing walk tapes. So I found I was like, oh, there's like little tapes that like yes, walk awesome. at home, you know. So I learned how to do other other things to make sure I was getting the walks in. Um, I've been calling it social exercise. So I would hang out. I would tell a friend like, hey, oh. let's go walking and talking, and we safe. You know what I mean? While we in COVID, you don't have to come to my house. <laughs> so you right. can go walk. But let's go out and walk. Right. Exactly. Because yeah, I see you with walking with the mask on, and I'm like, she ain't playing. She walking with the mask on, and ain't nobody with her. Exactly. I don't be walking with well, the mask. It depends. On. It depends. So I, 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 I pull it down because um, I need to breathe. But then it's all you know, it's people around. So, yes. You know, people look at you crazy, and I'll be like, we had go far apart. So I was like, let me just put it on <laughs> just in case. And, and leave it alone. So let me ask you. So you know, we know that. Um, mental health and the way in which we see our lives dictates you know how we move so yeah. so speak for a second to that person and i have found in my own life and i'm sure you have to be a financial coach mm -hmm. that the way that we do our bodies the recklessness of our bodies it also shows up in our money oh yeah <laughs> listen the bodies and the lack of discipline show up in that money too yeah. Um, or sometimes people are very disciplined in money, but they're very reckless in their eating habits or whatever. My desire is that people learn to have the even keel across the board because it's so much more powerful. So what do you say to a person that says, I don't have time. I've got to work. I've got to budget. I've got to do all these things. What can you say in terms of helping their mindset to just think a little bit differently? What would you tell them? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, for everybody, I kind of always, you know, starting with your why, you know what I mean? You have to feel your motivation, feel your passion, um, because that's going to be your constant motivator, right? 
Um, but then I also tell people in developing like a better routine, just even like a little bit of a morning routine um, will help your mind just be more aware <laughs> of what's happening. We live in our lives being so mindless um, all the time. So that's like, you know, when it comes down to our money, we're just not paying attention. We're, you know, never mindful yes. about where our money is going, never paying attention to, it, you know, how it is as we are just mindless when it comes down to what goes into our bodies, what we're eating. You know, and so it's really just like getting to a place of like, let me start paying attention. I and, love that. Um, and that, I think that's the, the, the biggest, um, you know, that's the kind of where you start. Um, I love that. Thing, you so know? I just wrote out, you guys, start with your why, develop a better routine daily. And we must start paying attention to what we eat and what we spend. Get your why. I love, love, love that. Listen, you don't know her. This is Dr. Roche Brown, doctor of rethinking. Check her out on her site. Look her up. We are a community. We are a family. You are going to be treated good and well. And she's going to be walking it off. And she's going to find 10 more people too to yeah. join the 30 day because the 30 day is going to challenge all of us mentally. Mentally, yeah. we're going to be stretched a little bit. Like we're going to be like, whoa, I did not know I was holding on to that stuff. <laughs> So we can really, we gonna be like, okay, she really did that like in 30 days. Like, um, so she gonna get 10 people and it's gonna be awesome. So Definitely. look her up, Sandy Andrew, any last minute thoughts you have before we go to our last person, uh, Miss Eileen, and we're gonna be out. Any other thoughts? Oh, just like such powerful testimonies. I mean, yes. and just amazing work, like for real. Dr. Lakita, like you are like killing it out here. Oh, I love you, I sis. Say, like, you know, I just, I love it. I love the excellence. I love the great team. You oh, know, you are it. definitely leading by example. You know, everybody speaks it, but they're not always doing it, you know? Oh, and God, so thank you. That makes me, you know, just feel, you know, good to be able to see that and just feel even more motivated and inspired. You know what I mean? So I believe that, you know, we take the pace of those that are around us. So oh, and, and I, let me tell you, I, I believe in black girl magic. I believe in black women. I believe in women, period. I'm serious about us learning about how we do this, how we do it together. I know for certainty we can't do anything without one another. And I believe that in a major, major way. And um, you are just, I've watched you. you you've been what, in psychology for how long now? 14 years? 14 years, since that 2006. So yeah. she, so she, was a, she only 14, you know, the little baby. <laughs> right? And she is, she's young. And I just want to say kudos to you. When people see us talk about one another, and it's always been very genuine. She's on a radio show. Uh, she's so humble, she, but she's on a radio show. She does amazing work on a whole lot of other areas. She's a book author, loving yeah. herself. She's oh, I got your book. I bought your book. Listen, I, I read the book and bought it and yeah. quoted from it. You understand? So she's a real person. So look her up. Let's support one another. Get what we need to get from each other so we can be our absolute best self. I love you. Major, yeah. major toy time. You just love you all. It's awesome. Oh my God. So excited right now. We got one more person. Okay, the last person is Miss Eileen Rivera. I think that's, yeah, Rivera, Rivera, sorry, Rivera, sorry. So um, I got you on here. <laughs> so I always try to highlight new folks. So you are new folks. So tell us who you are and where you're from. Tell us. Hi, ladies. God bless you all. I'm from um, Florida. Ah! I thought I, yes, Tavares, Florida. I'm originally from New York. I've been in Florida for um, nine years now. I could hear that New York accent. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I had an accent until I moved here. I was told I have a New York accent. Yes. <laughs> it's strong, too. It's your cute stuff. Okay, go ahead. I got into this through Dee Marie, which is yes. my, yes, which is my cousin, she, my cousin's wife. Okay. Um, she's my cousin, consider her my cousin as well. And um, she first um, introduced me, she sent me a little message. And at first, I just thought it was, you know, I'm, I run and I, I post a lot of my runs. So I just thought, okay, another challenge. So I was like, okay. And I, I, I said, sure, I'll do it. And so I, I actually, um, went into the site and saw her, one of these Zoom things going on and she, and she yes. spoke and that blew my mind. Yes. What she said on, the, on that Zoom session on the 100 day challenge. Yes, she did. Now, I, I've been a Christian for 18 years now. Wow. And um, to see that, and I haven't, I haven't connected with her in that aspect 
So when she spoke and she, I remember one thing that she said that she went to, uh, she she never she only went to God for the nine one one, not for for the four one. That blessed me. That, that's that's the piece I literally have that, and I wrote it down. I yes. I got. That I remember piece. it blew your mind too. Yes, yes. And when I heard that, I just looked at like, Lord Jesus, and I'm like, I was like, and right away I said, I'm gonna go in this. I I I need it, even if it's, I don't know what it's about, but I need to support that right yes. now. Yeah. Yes. So that's how I got involved. And but, you know, I, I want to say, cause it's, it's you, it's Carissa, it's uh, Dee Maria, it's Julia Zach. Um, there's a bunch of other um, East coast folks. And, and now I'm, I'm starting to talk to the family members and the kids and all of that mm -hmm. good stuff. And um, what I love the most is um, Dee Marie's speech was a blessing. It was a blessing. It, it, opened up the diversity portal she was just real with it but she was like for we we had a long conversation on the inbox and she was just like i need god in a major way i i i need to reconnect yeah. back with I, him. I cried i cried when i when i saw that little interview and i I, I shared it with my sister. I was like, look at this, how God's moving in our family. I'm like, Praise God, you know, <laughs> so I thank you for that. And I, I, I thank, thank the ladies for that. And it was such a blessing. Yeah. And you know, I want to just tell you, uh, you know, I, I am so appreciative and, um, just that God decided that he would do it. And I know I get a lot of flack because I'm a marketplace evangelist. Everything I've ever done since I've started work, when I started my first job, I've always included God's word because that's what God has mandated for me. That everybody doesn't have the privilege of doing that. I know how to skillfully do that. I've won people that were my professors at UC Berkeley to Jesus Christ who did not believe that God was God at all because they believe in Darwinism and evolution. And, yeah. and God took this little, little ghetto girl and just gave her a new mind mind uh and he gave her his mind so that people can come to know who he is because we need god today more than we we yes. know. we need god in a way that's so serious and so when i see you um d maria uh jermaine all of the rest of the ladies it's a testament that god is still speaking and Hallelujah. which is why i think he gave us this whole thing of one million women can you imagine one million women raising up and saying i will trust god above everything do you know how Hallelujah. powerful that is yeah. oh. thank you lord Jesus. yeah i mean i just feel that thing and i'm just so so share any last thoughts that you have um about the experience and maybe what you want to share with folks about hey don't wait it's a new year get ready to start join in what what's the last thoughts that you want to share I just want to share what a blessing was for the fasting that really, I mean, the fasting portion of it was so powerful for me and it, it was everything. And that I believe with that and the, the, I remember the first week you said only twice and then the, the following was three. And I'm like, wow, those three days were just, I started my own Bible study through those things with other women, <laughs> with other women, just morning sessions, <laughs> fasting and getting up early in the morning. And I mean, it's right now it's only 1130 here. <laughs> I don't know what time is on. I was about to say, because you're, you're, you're in Florida, so it's 11 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. And you're and on here. Because Dee Marie, she told me, she said, and normally she was on all of them. She said, it's my bedtime this time. I'm yeah, it's late. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no problem you got great representation this time absolutely but um just you know that corporate corporate everything for me i mean i just thank you for that for for god using you and just implementing it and making it whole and that made it completely whole it's so important so i mean i look forward and the message i look forward to the next one that's coming up and um I'm trying to get the more ladies involved. So God willing, you'll be seeing more faces. Yes, get your and 10 in. You pray. And this is what I'm sharing with every lady. Pray for the 10 people. If we each pray for the 10 people that God wants us and pray for uh, that they would hear, that they would know this is the time. I'm talking about it will be a revival at the end of the yeah. 30 day. We will come out looking better than other people, 
fairer than other people. There will be a glow from the Lord. We will have an ear to hear from God. Our spirit man will be in tune. I've, I've asked God for some outrageous uh, results. I did. I asked God to do it like he did it for Daniel back in his time and uh, the three Hebrew boys. And I just trust God for that. So um, I really appreciate you. I, I bless you. Thank oh, you. God, I can't wait till the thing lifts up so we can get to Florida. Then we can have a party. <laughs> retreat hey <laughs> anybody got a ready to go party in florida yes when, nice. when they say we can oh look at that everybody's like yeah let's go <laughs> we coming in a town near you love you so much i love appreciate you. god bless you god bless you and we're going to see ladies we're going to get ready to close it out um we have uh a three amazing um executive team members and uh they're phenomenal uh, they're so phenomenal. Uh, one is in a nonprofit meeting right now. Um, the other one um, is being mom duty. She's on here right now, but she says she cannot show her face because she's running around being mom. And that's Latanya, uh, Shalene, and Julie. And they really are incredible people. Julie is a trainer herself. She's actually a correction, uh, exercise correction specialist. And so she will tell you about your posture and why it is the way that it is and why you have pains in certain areas you can do consultation with her um you know people shalina is so much she's the director of operations she's so so much many of you guys know her she'll start playing music in a minute she's also she has a music school she uh is also an uh elder uh she you know just a phenomenal person she's got a nonprofit. she does stuff with the arts and all of that. Um, and then Latanya is like super mom. She's a mom of an uh, army young man. She's mom of five children. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, she got five children. And a brilliant, she is the brilliant mind of administration. She's in social work as well. Um, and she has a basket. Oh my God, they brought me a life-size basket for my birthday. And she brought it to me with all my goodies in it. And I'm just like so excited. Um, so I'm surrounded by those great women. I'm surrounded by all of you. And I'm not going to cry. Great women. Um, to the uh, events team, Brenda Moppins, Karen Darrington, um, Pamela Sterling, and Maria Wayne Wright. I love you guys so much. They have just taken on the helm of that. Um, and then others, I've got you down for some other stuff. So Beverly, get ready. And Marilyn, I finally know exactly what I'm going to have you to do. And then Elder Kathy and uh, uh, my, I, I call her Elder Arva. We, we've got some things for you guys to do so we can reach the women. Every last one of us, um, we'll see another one of us. And I want you to let that land for a minute. And I want you to think about for a moment as we come to a close tonight, that you know God has never, ever failed us. And if you have the dream or the desire or something, what you're looking at, God did not let it flourish really for 11 and a half years. God gave me this over 11 years ago. And it kind of did a little something in 2010. And I had a couple of people that want to try it in 2013, but it just did it. And I already had shirts and I had tote bag. I found the thing with the tote bags and it just, but I never let it go because I knew that God said it. And then boom, I turned down one thing and God says, walk in the other thing and, and we're here. But you have to hold on to what God said. If he said that you are going to be healed, people of God, woman of God, hear me. You've got to do your part of the healing. But I, I need to say this in my spirit. I, I feel it so strong. You cannot want something if you're not willing to give something. Glory to God. You can't want something. And this is a no grounds. People know they will they will report you in this group if you are negative. Uh, trust me, they will report you. They have reported people. And they're just like, they're going on a tangent, Dr. Lakita, because we don't see everything, you know, but we get on top of everything. And they're like, report, report. And because people need a place where they can land and God can be felt and revered and so if you're looking for that space 
We don't have all the answers. We do know the one person that does. And that is what we point people to. At the end of the day, I'm grateful that God has called me and used me. But if his anointing ever leaves me, it's all for naught. So I need God and his presence to forever be with us. And we've already started praying for you for the 30 day. Trust me, the God that I serve is going to speak to you in a way that you will have to say yes to his will for your life. For me, it's all about what you do as unto the Lord. It's always been about that. And if you can do that, then you'll lose the weight because you'll, you'll, you'll obey the king. And when you obey the king, you lose the weight. So we love you so much. Thank you guys for allowing us to come into your homes for this 50 day challenge. Speak out the women, they rock, they are brilliant. And you ain't seen nothing yet because we're going after 1 million women all over the world speaking other languages. Hola, como estas? Tu necesito un beso, babe. Come on here. Yes, you didn't know it, girl. Yes, we're going to have it in Spanish. You understand? So we are excited about it. Be blessed. Happy holidays to you guys. You want to join us because we cute too. And we love God. Yes, indeed. And we love you too. So be blessed. We love you guys. And have a really great night. Everybody say good night to the peoples. And we did it. Woo-hoo! <laughs> but let me show them. Hold on. I'm going to show them. I'm going to get me off of the spotlight and let them all see the, the gallery view. Woohoo! Yes. Woo-hoo! We're so excited. We love you guys at Facebook land. And please, woman of God, you don't do this alone. You will not do it alone. There will be sisters that will just pick up on whatever you're going through and they will pray for you and they will love on you, but they will make no excuses. Get up and do those freaking steps and do them right now in Jesus' name. And we love you guys so much. Have a really great night and God bless. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good